Uh, Huawei stepping up its legal defense against the United States, pushing for a swift conclusion. Arjun Kropel uh, joins us this morning with more. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it follows the lawsuit Huawei filed against the U.S. government earlier this year, in which it argued that the National, uh, the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, and a provision in there which prevents government agencies from buying Huawei gear is unconstitutional. Now what they've done is taken the next step in that and filed what in legal terms is called a motion for summary judgment, essentially asking the court to rule in favor of Huawei as a matter of law. They're saying there's no facts up for dispute, but what is up for dispute is a law, i.e. the U.S. Constitution and this NDAA. If Huawei is successful in its pursuit of this, there could be no need for a full-blown trial. The next hearing is scheduled for sometime in September where we get a conclusion of this part of the trial. But of course it comes at a time of mounting pressure for Huawei. The U.S. has put Huawei on a blacklist known as the Entity List. Now I had a chance to catch up with Dr. Song Lu Ping. He's the chief legal officer at Huawei and asked whether the company is looking to pursue legal avenues against this blacklisting. Let's listen into what he had to say. The addition of Huawei to the entity list is a dangerous move because they have disregarded facts and evidence. It is speculation and political reasons. Based on speculation and political reasons without facts and evidence, they have imposed most severe sanctions on a company. Right now, we are considering various remedies, including what you mentioned just now, legal actions. While we're looking there to uh, go on the front foot and take legal action, it's the first time the company has ever mentioned legal action in regard to this entity list. So they're really trying to take the pressure over to the U.S. Now, I'm here at the Huawei campus in Shenzhen, and I want to give you a very quick feeling of what it's like in the camp. I was walking through the halls earlier and saw a picture of a World War II bomber that was, had been very badly shot up but was still flying. And the words underneath read, a hero is born through hardship and challenges. The message Huawei is trying to give to its employees and, of course, uh, the wider world here is that it's staying strong despite this mounting pressure from the U.S. government. But, of course, many questions still remain over the company's future, particularly as it's on this U.S. blacklist, which is making it very difficult to procure components, hardware and software from very key U.S. companies.